What's going on everyone and welcome back to Minion Simulator where today as you can see I'm stuck in the floor and my huges are going crazy because the update is crazy guys. Because for this update not only will I show you every single pet in gold and rainbow and dark matter but we're gonna get into everything it has to offer and why I think this is the best update yet for this year at least. First of all, the map. Let's talk about the map. Because for a game that updates every single week, this is a well-detailed map. And a lot of people, at least a lot of people that I know, really love the artwork that went into this. Especially the chest in the background, the new camping sites. They have two sites. And where they hit the hidden pin is really smart. I was looking for this everywhere and I found it. And it's just always great to have storage. Especially if you're aiming for the leaderboards, you need storage. You need as much storage as possible. Now why I think this is the best update yet is that you can get three separate huges still. You can still get this one, the Irish one. You can get this one that's here forever and not going away. And the new boss minion. Those are three different huges at once. We've never had this before. And that's so awesome that they did that. One thing I love in this update as well is the best pet, which is the new mythic, the most powerful stat pet in the game, is no longer available in the boss chest, which means you have to separately go and grind for them, and it's available in this chest. So for this update, you have different objectives depending on what you want. Now let's take a look at what the pets look like. We got first of all the camper, the golden one. 4.19 is the best one I have, but let's take six of them and make this into a rainbow. See what the power is on this. And it's gonna be 9.66 trillion. As a dark matter though, it is 29T. Imagine that on a camper on the, the common. A common pet is 29T. Whereas these guys, I'm just gonna take a risk here and see what happens. The Boy Scouts. Let's go ahead and do the 68% chance to see if I fail or get a win here. And it's gonna be, looks like a fail, yep, looks like a fail. <laughs> but anyway, we got these as a rainbow anyway, so 12.4 as a rainbow is pretty good. But as a dark matter, 37.2, which I'm guessing you're just gonna find a lot of these on the trading plaza. So if you can't reach the camp zone, go to the trading plaza and try to get these pets. A lot of people sell them really quick and really cheap. This is the rare pet. Here's another attempt, nope, didn't work, but we have it as a rainbow, 25.17 for this version as a rainbow, I actually do like this, but then as a dark matter, why is it sitting so high? 76.5 T, that is ridiculous, and this is only a rare pet. Next up we have the epic, this is a fisherman, 47.4 for the normal golden version, but look at the lightning, 118 T, believe it or not, that is more powerful than even the normal rainbow one. Check this out, this is 109 T, which means that the lightning, you're better off having a lightning, but the dark matter though is 324 which is absolutely it helps so much if you just even have this for your inventory it will help a lot the bears though i struggle to get these which is obviously it's supposed to be that way right i kind of really struggle to get them i did buy a few of them for like maybe two million each as a rainbow i was lucky to get it for two million i was lucky to even find them but look at this as a rainbow look at the power of these guys 622 are you kidding me 622 as a rainbow legendary that is fantastic but as a dark matter 1.87 q imagine that only as a legendary and it has 1.87 q the mythic the brand new mythic not only looks gorgeous not only is it bigfoot but 1.25 q only for the rainbow version and the dark matter was gifted to me by chase thank you so much to chase 3.76Q for this, that is the new highest stat pet in the game. I really love the fact that they added Bigfoot in their camping theme, they added Bigfoot and not only did they add that but also the bear. The fact that there's a bear as well, that is awesome that they did that. And the pets look really cute and well made. Bigfoot has to be my favorite, really has to be my normal favorite pet so far. But let's look at the stats one more time. So we're starting off with the lowest one, which is the camper at 29T, that's the power rating on it. And then moving up next, we got the uncommon, the boy scout, 
37.2 and then with the Girl Scout at 76.5 the Epic the Fisherman has 324T and then it jumps all the way to 1.87Q the huge jump between 324 and 1.87Q that's crazy 3.76 for Bigfoot but there's also something that I want you guys to notice in my inventory and I'm just gonna kind of go off topic but can you spot what I'm talking about out of all these pets that you see did you see it? Still no? Well, this is what I'm talking about. This took me four months to get. It is my biggest, biggest, biggest regret in the game because someone had this and they offered it to me for 500 million. And I was like, what kind of an idiot pays 500 million for a huge? Says the idiot now. <laughs> you know, like, what kind of person pays 500 million for this? But that was at a time that the huge slayer was something like 160 million the huge mage was going for 500 to 550 million so i didn't think that this was worth it i was waiting until the values dropped but i was so wrong and look at it now it's worth billions now let's move on to pickaxes because they added pickaxes in this game like i said in my previous video they always do this every time they release a pickaxe that's 25.99 you buy it you have it you have fun with it and then they release another one and they slash the price of the one that you already bought. That happens all the time. But the thing about the Robux pickaxes though is the upgrade. It has 56 upgrades whereas the free ones have 53. Now I don't want to spend a lot of time trying to compare the differences but I want to show you something. I'm going to go ahead and buy this pickaxe. The max power is 16.7b whereas my gem pickaxe is 11.5. I'm going to max that out and compare both of those pickaxes just to show you guys what 56 upgrades versus 53 looks like just so you can get an idea because what confuses a lot of people is the fact that this is 16.7 billion in power whereas the gem pickaxe is 11.5 so you would say that this is much better than that but i'm going to show you the difference this is this new one this is the best that you can do as a free basically free one and it compares to the gem pickaxe even though that the gem pickaxe is 11.5 billion and this is 16.7 billion maxed out that doesn't matter it doesn't seem to matter i have the same set of huges triple damage and triple gems boosted and if you look at the difference the gem pickaxe only does like 3 million per break the overall score that i get from breaking these chests is much better than the soccer boppers but that one is pretty much free and it's so close to this gem pickaxe i can't even imagine how powerful the new one is but I think I'm gonna find that out soon enough because I am planning on buying it just to compare the pickaxes and for you guys, for your own knowledge as well. And that's all for today's video everyone. I think that they did a fantastic job with this update. Well done Liftoff Games. And I really hope that you liked this video. If you did, it would mean a lot to me if you can leave a like down below. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. That would mean so much more. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you all on the next one.